Hey, welcome back to Downgrid Survival. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about food shortages. I know it's something you probably have already heard about. If not, I encourage you to go search uh, some more videos and, and look at what's coming. There's, there's the potential for a serious food crisis uh, unfolding uh, throughout this year and into next year. And here's why. The conflict right now that's going on over in Eastern Europe has, is about to really disrupt our food supply. 30% of the world's wheat comes from that region, both from the Ukraine and also over in Russia. Now, you gotta stop and think for a moment, and that is, I mean, 30% is a big number uh, of one crop to just disappear and no longer be available to, to the world. But it doesn't just stop there, there's more to it. If you haven't heard already, Russia exports every year about 20% of the world's fertilizer. And fertilizer is needed by farmers to grow, plant and grow crops. So now we're talking about 30% of the wheat that is no longer available out in the market. 20% of the world's fertilizer is no longer there. On top of that, farmers are faced with increasing fuel prices. So now as a farmer, you've got this huge field that you normally grow crops in. You got high food prices, you're low on fertilizer, you got 20% less this year than what you had access to last year. That's 20% of your crops that you're probably not gonna plant this year because you wanna make sure whatever it is that you do plant, whatever you do, you, that you do spend time on, that you're able to recap uh, your expenses and, and make your profit as a farmer should. So we're talking about shortages later this year and into next year because crops are not being planted this spring as they normally would. Now I wanna talk to you specifically about wheat. We've heard about the wheat shortages, and people are talking about wheat shortages, and I've even seen some comments of people saying, well, you know, wheat, that's fine. I don't, I don't eat a lot of wheat. Well, yes, you do. We all consume a lot of wheat products, and I've got just some of them right here on the table to kind of get you thinking about the idea of the products that are going to be impacted just from the wheat shortage alone. Wheat is used to make flour. I don't have specifically flour here, right? But anything that is flour-based, it has the potential to be gone this fall and into next year because there just wasn't enough wheat. We're talking about all your crackers. Pasta. Pasta, <laughs> some people, believe it or not, don't realize that pasta, you know, it's made from flour and you need wheat in order to make flour. Um, a lot of Augustine Farm type products. I just did a video on Augustine Farms about how you can save 40, 50, 60, even 70% off on their products, and I'll put a link to that up in the card above, so make sure you check that video out. But products like this right here, specifically pancakes, okay? Flour won't be available to make pancakes or won't be available to make, you know, pancake mixes. Bread, uh, you know, granola bars and things of this nature. Here's some more pastas. Um, here's some more pasta. Cereals, almost all cereal available comes from or made from some type of wheat product, right? Um, a lot of your soups contain noodles and, and you know, all this is wheat based. And so if some of these ingredients are no longer available. I doubt Campbell's soup is going to be making soup minus the noodle. You know, they're just, they're going to stop making the noodle soup. You know, pop tarts. So here's a kid favorite for breakfast, you know, all that sugar, but nonetheless, you know, it's, it, the potential is it's going away. Uh, and here's one of my favorites, uh, biscotti. Okay. These are all things to get you thinking about how many products in your pantry right now are made out of wheat and flour. Think about that and think about the fact that come this fall, when farmers are you know, harvesting their crops, we're going to be at least 30%, maybe even 40 or 50% reduction in the amount of wheat that's available for the entire world. And all of us who are blessed to live in a modern society, doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get access to, to this wheat over someone who is living in you know, places such as Africa or even South America. Uh, the product just isn't going to be there to purchase. No matter how much money you have, it's not going to be there available for you to purchase. You're not going to see it in your grocery stores. That's the kind of, that's the kind of shortages that we're looking at, and that's just from wheat. Considering other crops are going to be affected, uh, because of the lack of fertilizer, we're looking at a serious shortage. Imagine all this stuff not available. When you are not able to go to the store and buy all these items because wheat isn't available, you're going to be buying more of other items that are available, which is going to have a huge impact on the supply system. 
So hey, let this be a warning. Get out there, buy what you can, stock up on what you can, have plenty for your family, share with your friends, family, and neighbors as, you, as you're able to, but be ready for the shortages that are coming because they most certainly are. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna pop up a couple others right here I think you'll enjoy. If you click on those, I'll see you over on the other side. Thanks for watching.